guys. So today for our mobility video, we're gonna talk about why you might have stiff ankles when you're doing some of the lifts. So we talk a lot about the ankle joint when we're talking about some of the Olympic lifts, like the clean and jerk and the snatch, as well as squatting. Because what happens if you can't get enough movement through the ankle, it affects your ability to get below parallel or get your hip crease below 90 degrees. And then that can affect you for a lot of your lifting. So when you're thinking about a joint and how it moves, you're thinking about the bones as well as the muscles around it. Here we have the skeleton's lower half. So we have the tibia and fibula, as well as the bones in the foot. This bone, which is the bone that we care about, is the talus. And it has to move back and forth in order to get the ankle to move properly. So if there's some tightness in the ankle joint itself, it can get tight and get stuck and affect the ability for your ankle to move. If this is the case, then some of the banded range of motion work where you place the band across the joint and move into and out of this ankle flexed or dorsi flexed position is gonna be important. The other thing, and it's usually not one or the other, is the muscles coming into the foot. So especially the calf muscles, you have two. You have your gastrox that travels from the knee down into the Achilles and into the heel. And then you have your soleus, which spans across and then comes into the heel. If there's some tightness in some of these muscles or myofascial tightness, it can pull on the ankle joint and affect its ability to move. So if you have stiff ankles, you likely have to go through both, start working on the joint motion itself, as well as doing some foam rolling or trigger point release of some sort into the calf musculature. So that's the mobility video for this week. Check out the link in the description below and we'll see you next week.